there's big bags, there's mini bags, there's neutrals, there's blacks, there's coloured, there's canvas, there's leather, there's exotic. We have a whole mix here. See, that grabs attention, but for the right reasons. Like I say, it really grabbed my attention, not because it was ostentatious, not because it was like a neon green hoop, but because the quality, it was the quality and the style and the design that shone through. Wow, just absolutely, wow. Yes, it's historical, yes, it's romantic, that's where Coco Chanel kept her love letters. It's pointless. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's here, it's the big one. My entire handbag collection video. It's that time of year where I thought, it's a really good time to film it. It's, I'm not buying any more bags this year. We're, we're mid to the end of November. Uh, I'm not buying any more bags. So let's just film this. Here. So yeah, here it is. It's a big one. We've got hopefully something for everybody here. There's big bags, there's mini bags, there's neutrals, there's blacks, there's coloured, there's canvas, there's leather, there's exotic. We have a whole mix here. For those of you that want a lot more detail on any of these bags, then if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. There's reviews of a lot of them, there's unboxings. I do a lot of mod shots as well and I will fit in some mod shots to go alongside today's video as well. I'll probably just sort of stick them up there whilst I'm talking so this video isn't too long because we've got 31 handbags to go through, excluding SLGs, excluding any luggage, pure handbags. Before we get onto that though, something I, I'm beyond excited to share with you. I'm like practically bouncing up and down on my chair here with excitement. One of my other real interests and is gaining momentum rapidly is jewellery and less so, you know, I'm, I'm moving away from costume jewellery and I'm moving into fine jewellery, I'm moving into things that sparkle so I'm absolutely delighted to do an unboxing and share something with you first before we get into all of this but it's there, it's eye candy, it's coming but you want to see this, this is absolutely, I, I'm so excited Lipstick was a bad choice, hair keeps sticking. So, look, I'm gonna unbox it with you so you can see all the packaging. I have not peeked. I've had this for a couple of days and I've not been able to look myself. It's been unbearable. So, here we go. I'm gonna unbox it. I'm so delighted. Now, full disclaimer, this was gifted to me by a company called Ideal. That's I-D-Y-L. I'm gonna show you everything. You like a nice little note for me. So that was really lovely, really nice little touch. I'm going to put links in the description box below so you can look at everything. I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to show you close-ups. I'm going to put it on. You're going to be able to see absolutely all of it. Now I first saw this and fell in love with the brand by accident. I was in Paris, as you do, and I was having dinner. I sat next, next to Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet and I noticed her earrings and I was like, well, where did you get those from? I, they're like exactly what I would love. Um, and she told me they were by Ideal. So I've been keeping an eye out and looking. Um, and then Ideal reached out to me. They've gifted me some bits in here. So I'm going to share those with you. Um, and, and we'll go from there. But if you're looking for something that's... See, that grabs attention, but for the right reasons. Like I say, it really grabbed my attention, not because it was ostentatious, not because it was like a neon green hoop, but because the quality, it was the quality and the style and the design that shone through. So here we go. Uh, but yeah, true story. <laughs> um, we're, we're not doing too well with the ribbon. We'll just bend it slightly. Right, ribbon is off. Good little sticker there. So let's undo that. Now this jewellery is all uh, the diamonds. Diamonds are all lab grown. So they're real diamonds but they're not mine. So they're much more sustainable, they're more environmentally friendly. They are lab grown. And everything is 14 karat gold as well. So that is just brilliant. Uh, because who doesn't love gold and diamonds? 
Um, there's lots of different choices. I'll go with you what I chose, so this is my own choice. Um, but like I say, I browse a website because I think this will be suitable for, for really, you know, my most tastes really. Um, but like I say, being gold, it's not going to discolour. You're not going to get any of that green corner. So we've got tissue paper here. I'm doing that. Oh, see, when you're unwrapping fine jewellery, what you want is a new, is once, you want it to be a nice experience, even if you're ordering through the post, even if you're doing something that's more price friendly because there aren't those high street markups, it's still nice to have a nice experience. So we've got a little pouch there, and then we have another lovely pouch here. And these pouches obviously could be used if you're traveling and want to take your jewellery with you. But you could also, like in that big zip one, you could also use a little cosmetic pouch if you want to as well. Oh. A scrunchie. Not what I was expecting. So a little, little free, freebie scrunchie there. Thank you very much. And in here, we have a little mirror. So proper wooden backed mirror with a bit of branding there, which is lovely. So again, that's really nice. You know, again, if you're, so this is great. If you're traveling and you want your jewelry all nice and secure, and this is really padded, really, really padded. And um, then you've got a little mirror to help you put it on and you can zip, zip it up securely so you're not gonna lose anything. Right, here we go. This is the main event. One of the things about Ideal as well, I think I mentioned about the quality of them. Everything is also then hand checked. So this is a card here telling me who it was, the name of who it was that checked the jewellery to make sure that it was, you know, passes their quality checks. So that was, you know, really good to know. And then there's also a little card there showing you some of the designs that come. So here we have this gorgeous box and if we open this up I'm gonna stand I'm gonna see I'm, she stood up for it I'm filming as well in completely natural daylight so you're not going to get any extra sparkle from ring lights if you are in those really nice lights it's going to be even better than what I'm showing you here wow just absolutely wow Rare for me to be speechless. I'm going to do some cutaways and show you some close-ups of this. Then I'm going to get it out of the packaging and I'm going to try it on and let you know uh, what styles it is that I have got. So what I've gone for, you can see, firstly I'll show you, focusing on the necklace. Now this is adjustable. This is it's a very beautiful, delicate, fine chain that's got, you can have it different lengths. This is on the shortest length and you can see it's just a really nice, it just brings um, a little bit more excitement to, to uh, deliberately put something quite plain on so that you could see this for you know all the interest that it creates so it really does just give that little touch of sparkle to the jumper and to you know it just elevates your outfit somewhat and then I've got these straightforward just matching simple plain studs in so this is the most simplest look now the thing that I love about ideal so much you'll notice there are other things in the box it's modular so for example you can get another necklace and layer up if you want to and have it at the look a longer length so you can do that which is great you can change this up so you can keep the same chain and add a different pendant with the earrings you can start off just with the plain studs but then we've got these added extras here a pair or you can have you know really be a bit more fashionable and have different earrings in each ear and mix it up and change it up a bit so I'm going to do that and show you and then we'll get on to the handbags okay 
So here on my left here we have the earring that started it all for me. So here we have the stud and then we have Lucian. I went for 14 karat white gold. And in the right hand one we have this different like almost pear shaped modular one on and this is called Uma. And I can also make a pair out of these if I want to. So yeah, really, really beautiful. And these as well are like by celebrities. If you want to join the gang of celebrities, the likes of Mila Kunis, Jessica Alba, Eva Longoria, then you can be a part of that little club by buying yourself some ideal diamonds. I also think it's the ideal Christmas present for you know any loved ones because you can also start off quite small. Uh, even if you, know, if you just want to do just the studs, for example, and then you know you can build on it for different events or celebrations and birthdays, things like that. Because this of this modular design, you can just you know add literally one earring at a time. So I am, as you can probably tell from my face, I am excited. This is just my style, just what I wanted. They're really nice and secure as well, the butterflies at the back. And I just think they're beautiful. So it's kind of a bit red for me poking it. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. And we've just got a real little piece of sparkle. For the rest of the video, I think I'm gonna do it so that I've got these matching. And then you've seen not every combination, but because we'll be here all day because of the, the modularity and how many combos you can have. But I'm gonna do that. Then we're going to get stuck into the handbags, good and proper. Okay, where do we start? I'm not going to do this in any great order, I'm literally just going to grab and talk. And um, like I say, I will insert some mod shots as well, so you can see what everything looks like on. Because I like that, for me I like to see what a handbag looks like on, I don't just want to hear about it. I will tell you everything that's good about the bags, everything that's bad, um, and run through the features very quickly because we have 31 handbags to get through. So first off, here we go with a classic. This is the Chanel Wallet on Chain, or the Chanel Wok. Mine is in a seasonal caviar. So it's in this black caviar with champagne gold hardware. This caviar being seasonal is a little bit finer and a little bit smushier than the standard, but I wanted that because part of the reason for me getting this, as well as it making a great everyday bag, uh, particularly if you're traveling or anything, your passport fits in perfect, there's a little slot pocket for that to show you in a second. Um, for me, this is a really good evening bag. I'm not gonna worry too much because it's caviar leather. I mean, I'm still gonna be careful. Obviously, I don't want a drink to be spilt on this, but I'm not going to be paranoid over it. On the back, you've also got a handy little slip pocket. So again, brilliant for, I would all I would put in that would be like, I would be like a, a travel card. And then we open it up. Mine has the magnetic closure. Point this pocket at the top. I know some people like it and use it, not for me. Chain. Um, and then we've got slip pocket here, zip pocket there, slip pocket there, which is handy for your passport, main interior section, and space for six cards, if you can see there. I have a little base shaper from Wok Saver. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below. Small family run company, really great. Now, this is a brilliant little bag. It holds all your absolute essentials. Yes, you've got a travel light, but I can even fit my travel hairbrush in this. Phone, cards, lipstick, you know, a, a key if you needed to, cash. So it's really, really good little bag. My only criticism, is the chain. Now whilst it's quite versatile, which means you can, you know, you can double it up, you can wear it over the shoulder, you can wear it crossbody, you can, you can't detach it, but you can put it inside the bags. So if you're going traveling really, really light, then you could put it inside the bag uh, and use it as a little clutch, but it's too long. I'm only five foot three. I've got quite small shoulders. I'm not large breasted. It's way too long on me. Um, there is a way around it, which is to get a little clip. Now, at one point, I don't know if they still were, Chanel were giving those away for free. You can get them for a few pounds on Amazon. 
So yeah, which I've done, I'll put a link in the description box below to that as well if that helps anybody find what I mean. But I would worry about damaging the leather in the chain. But yeah, great little bag and I have used this a lot. It's one to stay in the collection because it's classic and it's handy and doesn't take up too much room. Next we have my talking wallet on chains, Fendi wallet on chain, no back pocket, very soft bright pink leather. Unlike the Chanel, the chain is detachable. It is a better length and it also has six little card slots inside. It hasn't got the extra pocket that the Chanel had there that I normally put my passport in, but it has got a zip pocket here and it has got a front pocket there as well. I don't tend to wear this loads, um, I just don't, but it's a great, it was a bargain and it's a great holiday bag. So this does have her place in the collection and she does come out. To, she comes out to play every now and again and she usually gets the, the, the good trips. So she's, yeah, really great little bag. Uh, I've got a wedding coming up next year and this might be the bag I use for a wedding as well because of the colour and size. It's just really malleable and easy to use. Next, we've kind of got a Chanel section here on the bed, so we're going with that. We have my reissue, and this is the 225. So this is basically the one that's closest in size to the classic, the medium-large classic, if you like, which I also have here in black. So you can see they're pretty, pretty similar in size. So this I think is a reissue, so it has this gorgeous chain, no leather, just a chain. As a result of that, it does pull through a lot easier than the ones that have leather going through them. It's got the Mademoiselle clasp, mine is in this gorgeous raspberry chevron. I'm not quite sure what the leather is, whether it's like a goat or a calf. It's not lamb. It's not lamb. It's definitely sturdier than lamb, is my opinion. We've got the back pocket. If we open it up, we have, which in this style bag, is a totally pointless pocket at the top. Yes, it's historical. Yes, it's romantic. That's where Coco Chanel kept her love letters. It's pointless. All it does is introduce a zip that then dents your leather. That's my view. Karl Lagerfeld, God rest his soul, when he <laughs> did the redesign of the classic bag, should have ditched the pointless pocket. Sorry, that's my view. Uh, we have then pointless flap um, with a popper that no one ever uses because it's too darn difficult to actually close when you're using the bag. A front pocket, now this is super handy and this is one of the good things about the double flap design. This adds some security, the flap itself, but just makes it harder to get into. I've got this fab interior blue colour. Mine was made in France. And it's a super bag. Um, it needs some work. We've got a dodgy stitch and there's a tiny bit of wear to the corners. But as of, should be this month, Chanel, the repair centre in Harrods in London, will be taking coloured bags, not just black bags. So I'm hoping to, although well, the stitch I could get done, but I wouldn't mind having the corners done. So I may take her in for a little spa refresh. But yeah, gorgeous colour. And yeah, a bag that I've used a few times. I should probably use a bit more, but I kind of want to get that stitch done first. I'm a bit nervous about the, the loose stitch. So let's move on to the classic flap. Exactly the same, pocket on the back. This is in lamb with gold hardware. It's, this is a luxurious bag. This is why I got it in lamb, not caviar, because it looked sumptuous and luxurious. And that's what I was doing. I was buying a luxury handbag. It was for all of this collection. This is one of the early ones in my collection compared to what we've got here. Um, so it's exactly the same design. Burgundy interior. This I think was made in Italy. Oh no, mine was made in France. This was made in France as well. So this is not a bag that I use an awful lot. I should use it a bit more. When I have used it, I've really enjoyed using her. 
And I think for when I got this, which was, I think the one was 2017 example, the quality was better than it is now. So the prices were lower, the quality was higher. And I'm just looking at her now, just with my bit of sparkle. And uh, yeah, really gorgeous looking bag. Now with the length of this strap, which is shorter than the reissue, wear it on the shoulder. I do wear this crossbody and I will show you. I know if you're, you know, tall or more blessed than me, you probably won't be able to, but I do and this is unaltered. So this is as as Chanel, as I was gonna say as nature intended, but as Chanel intended, the um as in the brand, not the lady, the strap. Next Chanel we have is I was going to say this, this is gorgeous. This is one of my favourite bags, actually, in terms of how much I've used her. This is the Chanel, so again, another classic, and this is the Maxi Flap in Lamb. This is an old bag, this is a much older bag. The Lamb has now got a bit of a patina, it's still glossy. It's, I don't worry about this bag, I don't baby her. I got her for a good price on the pre love market. We have silver hardware, single flap. So it does lose her structure somewhat. I have a shaper inside um, to help prevent that. I've got one big slip pocket at the back, uh, sorry, zip pocket with a slip pocket just in front. You can see there. And you can wear this bag a number of ways on. Uh, shoulder, cross body, where you can do some weird loopy thing and have it a bit like you would a Gabrielle. So that's that bag. Um, nice generous back pocket as well that you could fit your phone in if you wanted to. So yeah, it's, it's a handy, I find it's a really nice handy commute bag. A great one. Chanel GST or Grand Shopping Tote in Beige Claire. Caviar leather with the CCs and mine is with silver hardware. One of the best work bags, I think, if you have an office job. Fits your laptop in easy. These can be prone to sag, so I have these wonderful inserts in from Zumoni. I do have a discount code for anyone that would like 20% off Zumoni, in Zumoni inserts. That's 20% off, and they're great inserts. They fit really well. Um, so I'll put that on screen and I will also make sure it's in the description box below with a link. But it's really good for a bag such as this. Although there is a lot of internal organisation, it's a very light interior that will mark. Even someone as careful as me, this will mark. So it's great to have the inserts in. But even more importantly than that, and why I would recommend sticking with the 2mm felt insert, is these bags can be prone to sag here at the sides, so store them carefully. I keep the inserts in at all time, and you can see, no sag. So it's a great bag. The pocket at the back is huge again, so great for the commute, pass, card, phone. You've got the zip interior, which you can put all your, you know, to make this more secure and put all of your valuables in there, so your purse, your, um, phone if you wanted to, if you didn't want to put it in the other bit. You've also got this zip pocket here. So it's a really user-friendly bag, but it's not huge. So it's brilliant. Love the GST. Discontinued now, but if you can get hold of one, then I thoroughly recommend that you do. So here we have a little Picatin. So it's the mini Picatin or the Picatin 16, 18, having a mental block. Perimenopause, everybody, welcome. Uh, mine is in gold Clement leather with gold hardware. To give it, again, this is a really floppy leather and I have a Zumoni insert inside to protect it because this bag, like some of the other entry-level Hermes bags, 
is completely unfinished inside. So you've just got this raw suede. There's no pockets at all, so there's no organization. They will lose their structure. And whilst it's supposed to be a little slouchy bag, I do like to have it not what I call a puddle. I don't want a puddle of a bag. I'm a little bit of slouch, but I'm not typically a slouch style person, as you'll see when you know, we get through to the end of this. We will get there, I promise. <laughs> But yeah, great little bag. Tend to carry this in the crook of my arm or handheld. You can't get it on your shoulder or anything like that, so it is more limiting. Normally use this in the sun, if I'm honest. It goes, matches perfectly with my Arans and my Oasis that I also have in gold, but in Swift. Okay, with a little small reorganisation to make a bit more room. Moving swiftly on, we have got some Louis Vuitton here. So I have the Nano Speedy comes with an adjustable strap, fits my iPhone Pro in. I don't know if you get a Max in, but the Pro definitely does go in. It's got this brown cotton interior. May, mine is made in France. Super handy little bag. I've worn this quite a lot. It's carefree. The Vichetta leather on this one is pre-treated. I tend to wear this bag mainly Actually, mainly handheld without the strap even on. If I'm doing a little trip and I just want to take a couple of bits with me that I don't drop and lose, but I'm not walking, so I don't need to wear it, if that makes sense. Um, or I wear her cross body with the strap, and it, yeah, just, just absolutely perfect. This bag fits a lot more in than you would think from the size. These little 16 centimeters are very deceptive. The Speedy as a style is really lightweight because there's really not much to it. It's just a big, a big canvas hole. Um, but yeah, for a teeny tiny bag, this holds a lot. I mean, I'm not gonna get my umbrella or anything in, but absolutely you're gonna get essentials in here. So I do like this bag. I use it for the commute sometimes as well as running errands because I may have a separate bag, backpack with the laptop in and then all my other daily essentials will fit in here that I need for the whole day. So absolutely brilliant little bag. I do recommend this. Maybe a slight bit trend piece, but it's a super functional, not going to completely break the bank in luxury handbag terms. Obviously everything is relative. So super, super little bag. Moving on then. I have this, and you could argue you don't need both, but anyway, this is a trend piece. I knew that when I got it. So this is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire with the khaki green strap. I got this as soon as they were launched, you know, as close as I could. It comes with a little chain strap as well, a mini pochette, a larger pochette, and like I say, a detachable coin purse that you can put on the strap or you could add it to the front if you wanted to. You could add it to another bag. You can fit your AirPods in this if you really wanted to and don't have a load of coins. I don't have coins, I typically never have cash. Um, so it's a super handy little piece. Like I said, this is handy to store little bits and bobs in, in a bag if you wanted to and if you wanted to attach it to your D-ring inside a bag with something. Most of the time I actually use this larger piece with a separate fichetta strap that I bought and just wear it cross body. It's a really good summer bag as well. I find it goes with, you know, summer dresses, but then I also use it as a winter bag. Um, it offers great organization if you use it as a whole, um, because they can put, for example, you know, like phone, purse and keys in the big bit and then makeup bits and bobs in the front bit so you've got that organisation and that demarcation between what's in what so you're not rummaging. So yeah, it's, it's great. It is a bit of a trend piece but I knew that when I bought it and my argument to myself to justify it was that I can just, again, like ideal, it's modular. I can just, I've just been admiring those in the viewfinder as I talk to you about this. Uh, but you can just, you know, use one bit at a time if you want to. You can use this front bit as an SLG. It's just that tiny bit bigger than the mini pochette. So it hasn't got the chain on it if you don't want, you know, so it's not gonna dangle and get in the way. You can do what you want it to. Again, this also makes a good mini bag. You can just 
fits your phone in. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not a piece I'm gonna get rid of, even though the trend I think is going. I don't care, I find it useful. I like it when the weather's really bad and I want something where I don't have to worry. My small umbrella from Davec fits in as well. So what's not to love is a palace clutch in black on pont leather with silver hardware, which is uniform. For those of you thinking, I've seen that in store. Yes, you have. Not supposed to be as well as I got from a reseller. But it's a, if you do see one on reseller, and I know they have them in Fashion File, again, I'll put some links to what I can below. Super useful pocket at the front. Unzip it. It's got a bit of give to it. It's not that wide as you can see, but you can get a number of items in. It's got a little slip pocket there as well. So it's always difficult to show you the inside of a black bag. And again, I've used this lots um, because I'm not care, I'm carefree with it. I'm not too fussy. If the weather's really bad and I'm just running out to run an errand, I'll grab this because it's not gonna ruin. This leather's fairly sturdy. I wouldn't like, obviously, you know, immerse it in water but I'm not too worried um, so that's that piece so that's another good handy little piece then we have my pochette Matisse in reverse monogram I actually used this the other day and reminded myself what a great bag and this is a bag that sits really nicely cross body because it's not too wide it's not got too much depth um, but at the same time, it's so functional. And I'm not a satchel bag fan, but I love this. You've got this zip pocket on the back, which again, super handy for any pass cards or things. So for the commute, that's really easy. I've got to open the bag up, you know, in central London where, you know, there could be thefts. I haven't got to open the bag up to get my pass card out to go through the train barrier. I just have to unzip and, and get it out from there. Inside is more capacious than I need, to be fair. You've got these different sections so you've got a slip pocket at the back this main big section there which yes takes my umbrella and then this front section there so i really love this because it appeals to my sense of structure and organization but it's carefree by getting it in the reverse monogram which to be honest i just love i like this i like the contrast i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but i like the reverse i waited longer to get the reverse i paid 40 pounds extra to get the reverse at the time i got this it was 40 pounds more to get reverse over normal monogram but you've got this black coated leather not this massive chunk of bachetta on the top here as a handle and again, that bit on the front. So again, that just makes it even more carefree, particularly in the rain. So I like this so much. I got a mini me. So here we have the Pochette Matisse East West in the Monoglam. Now I fell in love with Monoglam when it was launched because I loved that whole denim, denim effect, but didn't like the idea of color transfer or what if something got spilt on it. Saw this, so denim effect, that's coated. Perfect. Went to get an Everfall in it. They had it. Didn't float my boat. Saw this. Mm, a bit more expensive than Everfall, but I went, no, I want that one. So I, I bought this one. But I, I was going with the intent to buy a monoglam bag, so I wasn't that far off. <laughs> Just you couldn't get much different for much more different from an Everfall if you tried. We have the same S-lock that you get on the classic Pochette Matisse. Again, this navy leather, which again is also uh, fairly worry-free. Zip on the back, obviously not such a big section. You cannot fit a iPhone Pro in this. Um, but what I can fit in, which is perfect, and what I want to fit in is again my travel pass card for the same reasons. You open it up. Similar amount of organisation, you've got the back slip pocket, the main section, the front bit, the zip, um, and it's a fantastic bag. I find it easy to use, I find access easy. It holds, for me, probably almost a more ideal amount than the original Pochette Matisse. You can see them side by side there. This almost holds too much for me on a daily basis. This one, I feel like I'm not carrying like any excess bag or weight that I don't need. And it's just so stunning. It catches the light beautifully to create this rainbow effect with this coating. 
Um, for me, it's the perfect length crossbody. I typically, I've put it on to show you, I typically don't use this chain and would have been more than happy if they just not included the chain and taken a bit of money off the price. But for, I know for some people, maybe this is a bit more fashionable, so maybe the younger, more stylish of you will um, like this. For me, I'd, I'd, I'd pass. This strap I find incredibly comfortable on me. It's the perfect length. You can have it cross body or you could also wear it on the shoulder, similarly as you could wear it on the shoulder using the chain strap. So brilliant little bag. I only bought this year, but I think I will get my wear out of her. Okay, so talking of Louis Vuitton bags with gold chains, we have this one. This is the Cousin MM, uh, which I believe is French for cushion. Mine is when it was first launched. It is in this gorgeous khaki on prompt leather in lamb. It's, I'm looking at it, it's the most beautiful gorgeous bag i don't use this I, I i i don't use it and i don't know why um so i've put her up for sale but we'll see i mean i'm not giving her away so she may well you may be watching the handbag collection next year and she's still here who knows uh but yeah beautiful bag i think she's just bigger than i need at the time this was the only size they did her in um so we've got this khaki on the outside this strap, which means you can wear her crossbody um, and have the chain just hanging down, looking a bit stylish. Adds a fair bit of weight to though. I mean, this bag is empty and it's a decent weight. It's too heavy and I find it really comfortable to wear, but I typically don't, again, like the Pichette Matisse East West, I typically don't wear it with this. I have done. Um, and it's nice to have it there as a styling option. I'm more likely to wear it on this bag than I am the other one. Um, inside we have this stunning electric blue interior. We've also got this zip section here. So you can see there you've got that extra, yes the whole thing zips up but you've got that extra security as well. You can just about fit a MacBook in here but it's tight but it is doable. So if you did want, if you did have a, a 13 inch MacBook Air, it will fit in this just. Um, so yeah, I thought I would share that with you. It's a lovely bag, it's beautiful. I think it's super stylish. You can, again, a, tra a slight trend piece, so we'll see how stylish it is, but they keep bringing out more and more different sizes and everything in this. So I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And um, yeah, you can also just wear it as a bit of a stylish clutch if you didn't want to wear it over the shoulder or cross body. But yeah, you can have a bit more of a, despite the luxuriousness of the leather, I think it gives a bit more of a sporty feel. And I'm now looking at it going, I don't know if I want to sell that. <laughs> so that's that Louis Vuitton bag. And now I'm going to move on to the second of my Fendi bags. This is a brilliant bag. This is stunning. It's this, it's, it's called, it's supposed to be white, but it's actually more of a cream off-white, which in a way I think makes her even easier to style. You've got this contrasting um, edges here. Gold hardware, the Fendi Zucker print inside. You can see there in like a sort of suede Finish, interior zip that side, little slip pocket on the other side, a fair width to this bag, which means you can fit loads in. For a small bag, this is stunning. It's got the Fendi quality. This Nappa leather is just gorgeous. It's one of my favourite bags from a quality perspective. You know, aside from Hermes, this is next, I'd say. It's just it's just lovely. My particular version came with this thicker strap, which is detachable, so you can obviously just wear it handheld in the crook of your arm, over the shoulder, or crossbody using this nice thick strap. It's a super user-friendly, easy to style, easy to use bag. Love the mini peekaboo, absolutely love. So that's that bag. Hermes? Let's do 
a bit of a mez. Okay, a mez. We're starting to start just because it was in my hands. And by the way, if anyone buys pearl studded jeans, don't kneel. So this is my Hermes 2424 in size 35 in Berenia Faubourg leather. Yes, you heard it, Berenia. So really beautiful, stunning bag, big, you can see it there in the natural light, big chunky palladium hardware. Little back pocket, which is actually quite generous and does fit my phone and pass card and whatnot. Meaning that although it's a little fiddly to get in and out of, on my daily commute, I don't need to when I'm going through the train barriers, I just use that back pocket. Open her up. Yes, I've got a, a trusty Zumoni insert inside. Again, Jojo Lux for 20% off at Zumoni and customizable as well, which I've done in this one. So I've got a removable drinks holder. So if I want to, I can carry my tea in without worrying about it spilling onto the Berenia. It's gonna hold it upright. Fantastic bag, fits my laptop, fits everything I need in. Can get a little heavy. I only bought this this year, whole drama. I'll put links into that, to that video. But it's a gorgeous, stunning, quality heritage leather. Even though it's a newer style of the heritage leather, it's considered a heritage leather by Hermes standards. And it just smells. It smells of saddle. It's just stunning. So what else have we got by Hermes? We have, let's go on to the Birkins. We've got a Birkin 35 here in Rouge Cassac in Epsom leather. Not my favorite leather, but it works great on this size because it keeps it lightweight. I have gold hardware, as you can see on the sangles here. Let's open her up. This is where Epsom is stiffer than Togo. I tend to just keep her open. Once she's open, she's grand. Um, <laughs> Another Zoom only insert, who'd have thought? But yeah, brilliant bag. Can wear this handheld or in the crook of the arm. Fits laptop and absolutely everything you could imagine. And it's just a great stunning looking bag. I bought this pre-loved. I've worn her a lot. And I love having a red bag. I wouldn't want too many, but having one red bag is brilliant. The red on this is actually more of a proper red. It's not coming up. It's coming out a tiny bit pinky on camera, but it's a, a red, red. So that is that one. The next Birkin we have is my first ever Hermes bag, my first love. Uh, this is my Birkin 30 in Rose Poupre Togo leather with palladium hardware. And I love this bag. Being the 30, it's not too heavy. I can actually fit my laptop in here, so you can carefully fit a small laptop in here. I wouldn't do it too much. You want to be careful, make sure you don't over stuff. I think I need a Birkin 25, don't I? Because I don't have one. <laughs> Poor me. So yeah, again, gorgeous bag. I tend to wear this handheld or in the crook of the arm. Like I say, my first ever love. A bag that I have worn and worn and worn, and you wouldn't think so. The quality of this is amazing. This bag looks untouched, almost. Like even the corners. I mean, yes, I'm careful, but I have used this bag loads. The colour just goes with so much you would not believe. Okay, so sticking with the theme of totes and sticking with the theme of Hermes, we have this beauty, which is my Garden Party 36. And this is in country leather with palladium hardware there. You can see the little popper closure. And this is in country leather. Opens up. It's just um, got this one zip pocket inside there. Uh, you can make the bag even bigger by opening her up even more, but I tend not to wear her like that, but if you wanted to, you could. And again, another great bag for work, fits the laptop in. Country leather is also a very durable leather as well. It is heat stamped. It's not 
um, so it's got that extra durability a bit like Epsom leather does but it looks uh, it looks more natural I love Rouge Ash it's again although it's not heritage leather for me it's an absolute classic Hermes colour stunning autumn bag it's coming out a little bit more burgundy it's got a bit more of a brown undertone to what the camera is showing sorry I'm filming in natural light to do my best <laughs> but yeah what natural light we have for this time of year uh, but yeah it's, it's a great bag a bag I don't use as much as I should if I'm honest and I don't know why it's not because it's not leather lined it's not overly heavy I'm I think I'm going to use this quite a lot this autumn actually um, I think sometimes I think the fact that it rains so much in this damn country is what puts me off some sometimes using my nice bags but I should be all right with this I'll always have an umbrella with me anyway and it's big enough to fit that yeah this will fit in all of my essentials on my laptop really super easily uh, so it's a great bag I tend to wear this in the crook of my arm or handheld I bought for all weather purposes and that is my Goyard Artois in the MM size because I basically had used my classic Neverfall so much that I wanted something that was like that but a bit more weatherproof and in terms of having a zip so I wasn't worried about the thin strip of Vegetta leather it was more the case of the items inside getting wet so with this zip this is brilliant I got a Zumoni insert in there in the classic Goyard colour that matches the dust bags that you get with these. Unlike the St Louis, the Artois has leather here on the bottom so it protects those corners. This bag is brilliant, it's a great travel bag. So I've used this when I've travelled to Paris with Bestie Lorna and it just looks lovely against my little Samsonite suitcase, sat on top great. You can, bit, you can also fit a bottle of champagne and two large flutes in this no problem so you can have your champagne on the Eurostar so a brilliant travel bag you can fit absolutely loads this fits even more than it's bigger than the never four mm so it's a great bag and if you also want the security of having that top zip then it has got that as well I love this bag this is obviously going nowhere it's fairly well used in my collection particularly this time of year so this will be coming out a lot more I don't really use this very much in the summer particularly what I do use now in the summer is this so I bought this this year this summer and this is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in this gorgeous like raffia with white embroidery you can see there this material is absolutely stunning I've got a Zimoni insert with a removable zip for ultra flexibility in how I use this and I've worn this for how long I've had her I've used this quite a lot she goes really well with those summer outfits I think also looks really nice with that you know that whole like winter white creams look this goes wonderful with that as well and again part of the reason I got her was because of this one the Neverfull MM which is stunning like I say both my Neverfulls I tend to wear over the shoulder this is all comfy and worn not worn out though just softened uh, again insert in to keep the structure because I don't want it to be too floppy but if I want to I can take it out I've got the pink interior for both of mine I have kept the little pochette because I find that really easy as a little evening clutch bag or something or even just as a pouch inside the bag to help organize things you can put yeah, because they are open from a security risk perspective you can put valuables in there, zip it up tight and then using this clip, clip it to the interior D-ring if you want to so that also adds something to the security perspective if that is a concern for you or depending on where you're going, you know, it may not be a concern ordinarily but for certain places it may be so that is the Neverfull MM we have more totes, I'm a tote girl, sorry there's more totes we have the Christian Dior book tote. Now this was the small when I bought it, it's now the medium. So this is the medium size book tote in this very different design. It's all embroidered. I think it's stunning. I love the greys, the blacks, the pinks. I think it goes pretty well with my jumper. Inside is just literally just 
embroidered and completely plain, not a single pocket. So I do have an insert in as well. And also with a tote bag, I typically have it open and I often will have a, a drink or something. So it's nice to have that insert to keep that stable so it's not going to flop over. I think it's be good for a beach bag. And um, like I say, usually you carry this handheld or crook of arm, but again, you can just about squish it over on the shoulder if you want to. I've used this a fair bit. I tend to use this for basically as a shopper, as an open shopper. Um, so this and the Never Forget have very similar uses. Also, we'll use it as a work bag and my laptop does fit in there as well. I wonder if I should re-film laptop bags, luxury laptop bag video. Anyway, I've still got them. Here I have my, bra my Prada double tote. This is the only Prada bag that I own now. I couldn't bear to part with it. I don't use it very regularly now, but it's still beautiful. I still like the aesthetic. I think I will use it this winter. Again, I really want that whole cream winter white look. and I think it would go perfectly with that. It's a Saffiano leather, which means it's super lightweight, but durable. I've got a little clip bit there. This is a worry-free bag. It's huge. You've got these massive, great big sections there so again i can organize you know work stuff one side personal stuff the other and then for any valuables or you know like a card holder phone bits like that you've got this full length it goes all the way down to the bottom little pocket with a magnetic closure so it's just, i don't think they make this anymore in this the double bag in this size this is the large so it never doesn't come with a shoulder strap but certainly a great bag, and one to look out for on the pre-love market because they don't hold their value. So you're looking at probably about, you know, this sort of bag will be about £3,000 new. You can probably pick it up for about 500 So check out the pre-love market. Again, I'll put any links that I can find below. Right, we're down to some special bags now. I will just do a final shift, and let's go through the final few bags. Congratulations to those of you that are still with me. Right, moving on to another jewel bag. We have this one which I bought in Paris. This is a mini lady jewel in the colour denim, which is an ombre effect as you can see there. And this is the Laf Snake. So this is my only exotic bag. Um, but I just loved this colour and this ombre effect. I was less fussed about it being a laugh. Um, you can see there, it's unlike a lot of snake or like python bags this is very smooth it's not got sticky up scales if that makes sense so it's very smooth um i've not damaged it so far um it's got this really nice quite weighty shoulder strap which means you can wear this cross body the strap is removable as well so you can just wear this in the crook of your arm or handheld to open it up we just have this flap that opens it's got a small zip pocket inside but I don't use that it's too fiddly to get to because this bag is really quite stiff there's not a lot of give to it so holds your few essentials I think this is a great evening bag event bag I wore this to a dual event when I went with Bessie Lorna and it looked super stunning and I felt great with it and I think that Again, this sort of colour goes great with black. It livens it up a little bit. Navy and black, I think, is quite classy. But also looks great with denim, you know, with a denim dress, with jeans. So it's um, quite versatile. It's, like I say, I feel like it's quite delicate, so I'm careful with her. But a very, very pretty bag. And the champagne hardware there um, just means you can not worry too much about what you're wearing it will blend in with most things so yeah it's got little feet on the bottom as well which is cute she will stand up on her own so again nice if you're leaving on a little table if you're out to dinner or something i don't have many evening bags because that's typically not my preferred use so that is that one right now the last few bags we have are all hermes so i'm going to start with this one here so this is my mini Evelyn, or Evelyn TPN, or Evelyn 16. Mine is in Etoupe Clemence leather with gold hardware, and the canvas strap is in blue indigo. I find Hermes canvas to be fluff magnets. Hey-ho, it's only a bit of fluff. It's got this one little popper, no back pocket or anything, and then the inside, like the Picatinn, 
is just completely unfinished. So again, another reason to get your Zumoni organizer inside and do protect that because a Mez spa won't fix the inside. But of course the camera battery went. So we're gonna finish off with the final few bags. Here we have my Hermes Rulli in mauve sylvest in swift leather with palladium hardware. And this is a stunning bag. It's got a little slip pocket on the back, which is super, super handy. It is so easy to use. I was worried about how easy it would be to get this in the right place. So easy. Inside, we've got a slip pocket, a main compartment, an extra slip pocket there, and then another front compartment. So in total, we've got five sections. It's stunning. It fits my phone, just, it's not generous. It fits, um, it's so lovely to wear over the shoulder or cross body particularly. It's detachable on this one side here, which gives you then a greater flexibility to mess around and adjust the length. It's a beautiful bag. I've had it for uh, just over a year. I've worn it a fair bit, but I love it in winter with like winter creams and a pink scarf. And I love it in summer. Summer I've used it the most. It goes with summer dresses just beautifully. And it's a stunning color. Next, similar to that, we have my latest bag, which is the Constance 18 in Vert Fizz Chev Mysore leather with palladium hardware. And then when you open it up, we've got this Vert Comics bright inside. You've got slip pocket with a little mirror, two more sections, a slip pocket at the back, no back pocket, but my God, do I love this bag. Yes, it's my newest bag, so there is that. But this color, I've always loved this color. Before this color existed, I loved Vert Croquet, and I really wanted a pale green. I wanted a light green bag for God knows how long. So I'm ecstatic to have this. Super wearable, super comfy, fits against the body, lovely. And I think it's gonna be one of my most worn bags because this color as well, it's just so versatile. Being chef leather, it's fairly durable. She should hold her structure and she'll maintain, um, she'll be quite lightweight as well. So already use this and love it. It's a really nice usable bag. If anyone is wondering about the Constance 18 and you can do it, go for it. Don't hesitate, it's stunning. So we're gonna go up the sizes in Kelly. We have the Kelly 25 in Nata Angri Tortorel Chev with this permabrass hardware. This is my a la carte HSS special order, call her what you will. She's stunning. The 25 in Cellier with Greenish Felt stitching. She is just stunning. So, so nice to use and easy to wear. Um, cross body or on the shoulder. I tend to wear her cross body the most. The strap is with all Kelly's, so I might tell you for each of them, is detachable and it's just a gorgeous bag. Absolutely adore this bag. This is probably my favorite. I know she didn't have favorites for all of the 31, but, but I designed her. If I didn't want her to look like this, I wouldn't have done it, would I? So that's that one. Going up a size, one of my, my second Hermes bag, sorry, third Hermes bag. This is the Kelly 28 in Etan Togo with Palladium Hardware. This is a size 28, she's a retourne, so a slightly sportier feel than the more structured Cellier. You can see the difference there. A brilliant bag, a great size 28. You can fit a little bit more in. You can get like, um, for me being a size UK5, I can get a flat pair of like around sandals or something at the bottom if I wanted if I was wearing trainers and then wanted to change so you know that's a little handy handy thing sometimes so yeah glorious sorry the light is going absolutely glorious bag such an easy to wear colour a forever bag and you really can't go wrong with that one now we have a heritage leather again we have the this is like the Typical, the atypical Hermes bag. If there ever was a what, and I'm a Kelly girl, hence the Kellys that we're going through here. But this black box, I mean look, just natural light. The sheen on this box is stunning. So black box, 
gold hardware. What a combo. 32, the original size. Cellier. Stunning. I don't wear her that often because <laughs> I'm a little scared of the box leather. <laughs> box leather blisters and rain, you have to be careful. But again, this is such, you can see, it's such a classic, classic bag. Look at her. That is one to keep um, f forever, really. I, I think I will relax in time <laughs> and use her more. But she's just, it's, it's a classic that bag fairly lightweight as well and the only thing with box as well is it's quite structured and a little bit creaky so it's not the easiest this is not the easiest bag to get in and out of when you're on the move compared to for example the Ritorno which is which leads me else is my final bag to show you today my blue Hydra Kelly 35 in Togo leather with gold hardware and this bag is just glorious She's just glorious. She fits my laptop in, she fits shoes, she fits everything I could need. So yeah, I use a Kelly bag for work, for my laptop, and everything else I could possibly need. Let me know at all any questions about any of the style bags. I'm happy to tell you. Um, I've, aside from the constants, I've had all of these bags a fair while, I've, I've, I've definitely used all of them, so any questions at all about usability, functionality, anything, then of course let me know. Obviously not authentication, I'm not an authenticator, I'm not going to pretend to be, but any other queries about, you know, um, the, the bags from a usability perspective, check out Ideal. I will put a, like I say, all links to this below. Loving it, it's stunning. So take care everybody. <laughs> Congratulations to all of those two of you that made it to the end of this and I hope you like the mod shots for reference. I am five foot three and a smidge. So that's it. That is the handbag collection for 2023.